Okay, so there are four rules for logs. Um, the first one being the one that we just did. Log x, y is equal to z. So I can write it as an exponent where it's x to the z is equal to y. That's our first rule. Our next rule is that if I have two logs with the same base, so I'm going to call this y and then plus log x, and this is z, then I can write them together by just multiplying them together. Because when you add exponents, you multiply the numbers, right? So it's the same rule. So I'm going to write this all in one by just multiplying z and y together. So that's how you can um, condense one, two logs into one. Mm -hmm. um, if this is minus here, then this changes to division. Because a negative exponent means a fraction, right? Because you're flipping the, the answer over, okay? Um, here's the last rule. If I have the log of x, and then this is y, and then you have a z out front, then I can take this z and move it and put it as the exponent there. So then you get the log of x, y, and to, it's to the z power. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing is the log of 1 is always equal to 0. It doesn't matter what the base is. Because anything to the 0 power equals what? 1. 1. So those are your four rules that you can use. So let's do some problems where we're condensing and expanding logs. So, so is log 10 1 is equal to 0? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to delete this. And I'll give you something that looks like this. And when you don't write a number there for the base, what is the base? 10. Good. So condense that into one log for me. 2 log 3 minus 3 log. OK, so you mean this. You move that to and just make it log ten three sorry minus three. not minus. What is the minus two? Oh I I was Oh you're doing it step by step. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. Minus log of three. Sorry. Let me go back. Because that would be 21 to the three. And then we're going to do, we're going to collapse all those into one. So you get 9 over 21 cubed. All right.